Hey everyone, this is Miss Ava Hart. Today is Friday, October the 16th, 2020, and it is 11, 12 a.m. So this week you have another annotation assignment. So I'm going to once again show you, model to you, what your annotation assignment should look like when you submit it on Friday, October the 23rd. So here's the paragraph. Here are the symbols. Once again, I'm going to go over the symbols. So new vocabulary word. If you are reading the text, and you encounter a vocabulary word or a word that you're unfamiliar with, you're unfamiliar with the meaning of the word, then you are to underline that word. Okay, next one is the question mark. So if you are reading the paragraph or while you are reading the paragraph and you have a question, then you are to highlight the text Put the question mark at the end of the text and then at the bottom of the paragraph or underneath the paragraph, you are to ask a question. You can start off using this sentence stem. My question is and then go ahead and type your question. The next symbol is an exclamation point. Exclamation point means that you read something that you can relate to your everyday life. So you would highlight the text, put the exclamation mark at the end. You would put the exclamation mark at the end of the text that you highlighted, and then underneath the paragraph, you are to tell me what is it about that text that you highlighted that relates to your everyday life. And then the last symbol is the at symbol. The at symbol tells me that whatever you highlighted is important. That detail is important. And you are to tell me why that detail is important. All right, so I'm going to use all four symbols. Although you are only required for this assignment to use two of the four, but I will use all four symbols in order for you to know what it will look like when you turn it in or what it should look like when you submit the assignment on Friday, October 23rd. So first of all, you read the paragraph. In 1860, this, this paragraph is the first paragraph from the informational text, 1963, the year that changed everything. So in 1865, the 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution ended slavery. Nearly a century later, African Americans continued to struggle for equality under the law. A number of major events in this dramatic battle took place in 1963. So this is the first paragraph from the informational text, 1963, the year, the year that changed everything. So I'm going to use all four annotation symbols. All right, so the first one, let's look at, um, I'm going to say amendment. I'm going to underline that. And then underneath, amendment. And then I'm going to type the definition of a minute. Okay, so an amendment is Okay, done with that one. So my next annotation symbol is question mark. Remember, annotation or to annotate means to take notes on a text. You're just taking notes on a text or you're marking up a text with notes or you're having a conversation with the text. So annotation is just taking notes on a text. You're marking up a text 
with notes. You're having a conversation with the text. As you're reading, you're having questions about the text. You're um, encountering new vocabulary words. You're, you're um, identifying details that are important. And you're just making those notes in the margins of a text. Like I told you before, if we were in class, you can write in your textbook. So you would be doing this in your textbook. You would be underlining, underlining the text, and then you would be making notes in the margin of the text. All right, so I did the first one, vocabulary amendment. The second one is a question. So here's my question. So I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to put a question mark at the end of that sentence. And... And my question is, all right, next one is, let's do our exclamation point. Choose this one. I'm going to highlight it and show how it relates to my everyday life. Let's put the exclamation point right there. Okay, I'm going to use a different color because this paragraph is so short. So I'm going to use a different color to highlight. So I'll just use this color. All right. So the question mark, I mean, the exclamation point means it, it relates to my everyday life. So I can go up here. Let me use the sentence starter. So my question is, let me make, let me change this. My question is, after a hundred years, why were blacks still being treated unfairly? All right. Let me look at the ex exclamation point says this relates to my life for the reason being. So I'm going to use that sentence starter to start my sentence. All right, so this is how that relates to my life because I do remember learning about this fact in my middle school history class. And then the last one is the at symbol. So mm, because this is a short paragraph, I just chose each sentence so I'm going to highlight I just chose each sentence um, for each symbol so I'm going to use that and I'm going to put the at symbol at the end so I put the symbols at the end of each so I have a symbol here's the at symbol right here um, here's the question mark right here where the cursor is blinking. Here's the at symbol right here where the cursor is blinking. Here's the question mark right here where the cursor is blinking. I put the symbols at the end of each text that I highlighted so that my teacher will know that I'm going to make comments or notes about this particular sentence um, using this annotation symbol. That's why I put it. I put these symbols at the end of the text that I highlighted, so the teacher will know. Okay, 
this sentence right here is important. So the, so the student is going to tell me why this sentence is important underneath the paragraph. This sentence right here, there's a question mark. So the student is going to tell me why they have a question about this sentence. And then this sentence right here, there's the exclamation point. So this sentence right here, the student is going to tell me how this sentence relates to their everyday life. All right, and so the last one is the at symbol. And this one is telling me why I think the detail is important. So I can go back up here and use this sentence starter to start my sentence. So this detail is important because Okay, so that's it. I used all four symbols. So let me review. I underlined the word amendment because that was a vocabulary word that I was unfamiliar with. So underneath the paragraph, I put the word amendment and I wrote the definition. All right, the next one was question mark. This annotation symbol means that I have a question about what I read. So I highlighted, highlighted this sentence in yellow and I put the question mark at the end of the sentence so the teacher knows that this sentence right here, I'm going to have a question about. Down here, I put my question. My question is, after 100 years, why were blacks still being treated unfairly? Okay, then the exclamation point. The exclamation point says that, hey, this relates to my everyday life. So I highlighted the text. I put the exclamation point at the end of, the, of that text so the teacher will know that this right here has something to do with my everyday life. And so I put it down here underneath the paragraph. This relates to my life for the reason being, I, rem I remember learning this fact in my middle school history class, okay? And then the last one um, is the at symbol. The at symbol says that this detail is important. So I highlighted this sentence. I put the at symbol at the end of the sentence. And so the teacher will know that this sentence right here is important. And, and I'm going to tell the teacher why this detail is important underneath the paragraph. So when you go down here, right here, I tell you that this detail is important because it sets the tone for the rest of the text. It lets me know that I'm going to learn about major events that took place in 1963 and how those events affected black people. So this is how you annotate a text, easy peasy. You only have to do two of the four symbols, but I did all four for you just in case you needed to see how to do all four symbols. If you needed additional clarification on what each symbol meant and what it looks like when you um, give your explanation or when you take your notes at the bottom or underneath the paragraph. So I did all four. You only have to do two of the four and you will have a different paragraph from the text 1963, the year that changed everything. You will have a different paragraph and you will only have to use two of the four symbols to annotate that paragraph. All right, I will talk to you on the next video.